I predict that in a few years we will have what we call virtual re retail assistance beam from the ceiling. Samsung, for example, will have a worldwide uh, uh, delivery of these uh, holographs and they speak all the common languages and can tell you all about Samsung products and when to buy which product. Now, there are a lot of services currently delivered by people that will be displaced. And I'll give you one example. We have Changi Airport here in Singapore. Changi Airport has one information counter in every terminal at every level. Now, that is actually very expensive retail space. I have to, I could put a Louis Vuitton shop there or make a bigger shop there in, instead of having an information counter. I have expensive headcount there. And on, on top of that, it is not terribly convenient for customers either. Why? Look, I may be at one end of the terminal and I would like to ask something, but I would have to go all the way to the center to the information counter to, to get my answer. I promise you in a few years from now, what we will have at all the major airports in this world is every 50 meters we beam down a digital person, a holograph. All we, and it's very cost effective. All I need is a beamer, a speaker and a microphone. And this thing is connected to Wi-Fi. And it's powered by something like IBM Watson, plus perhaps ChatGPT. And then this holograph can speak all the common languages, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Korean, German, French, Italian, you name it. And the uh, advantage is it is very convenient because it is so cheap that I can put it every 50 meters. It doesn't take any retail space. So, so for example, in an emergency, you just can push your uh, cut through the holograph because it's beamed from the ceiling. It is cheap enough so that I can even put holographs into the car park. Even in Changi Airport, they even know where your car is because they have the number plate recognition. They can even ask, hey, where's my car? <laughs> okay, and um, you can see where we are going with this here's cost effective and great service. And the nice thing is that the whole thing can still be backed up by humans. So I think it's very likely that there will be a control center where all of these holographs in a way report back to and is monitored maybe by, by two or three people and any time a holograph cannot answer a question it gets escalated to the human team that's, that is monitoring all of these holographs at a central location and they will then through the holograph speak to the customer and can answer the question and these kinds of things then also can help to improve and how to make the database they have better, how they handle questions to make it.